When you drink water, you never really think about there being chemicals in it, but there actually are quite a few, especially within tap water, because most of the water you drink from tap water gets recycled and recycled all over again. People can take hour-long showers, and water like that doesn't just go to waste. We don't just throw it away. We have to recycle it. And because of that, there are chemicals that stay within the water that you really can't get rid of. You can refine them as much as possible, but sometimes things just get through, especially when you're working with big plants who have to move water really fast. So today, we're going to be talking about estrogen that's specifically within tap water. Now, men and women both have estrogen within their bodies, women at a higher extent, and at low levels for men and at normal levels for women, it's fine for the body to have it, but at higher levels, there can be unwarranted side effects. Some of these effects that some people have experienced from high levels of estrogen are depression, acne, osteoporosis, I have osteoporosis, and a lower sex drive, and at extreme amounts, it can even cause breast cancer and urinary cancer. Now you may be wondering, why is there estrogen in the water supply? Well, it comes from a chemical known as estradiol, which comes from birth control. Birth control goes into the water supply leaked out from the body and because of that the estrogen goes along with it in the form of estradiol so whenever you drink water it stays in the water supply because the plants don't filter it out or at least not to a very high extent now estrogen also comes from some dairy products that get into the water supply but it's not a very high amount it's believed to be mostly from birth control now you may be wondering i don't want estrogen in my water supply. I'm getting enough estrogen. How do I get rid of estrogen out of my water supply? Well, there are a couple of things you can do to avoid tap water with estrogen. Number one, you can buy water bottles and water bottles are less likely to have estrogen. They're highly filtered compared to tap water, which has to be used for many things. And there's a better odd of it having less estrogen, especially if it's spring water, because spring water um, doesn't have any refinery plants added to it. There may be other chemicals because it's all natural, but that is one viable option. Second viable option is a reverse osmosis system. A reverse osmosis system is a refiner of water used in industrial plants. You can buy them online. They usually don't sell them in stores because they're usually made for companies. And this is your most expensive option if you really want to get a filter. It's the best one from what I've seen, but it's the most expensive too, so it may not be a viable option. Next option, which is cheaper, is an activated carbon filter, which you put your tap water into. It filtrates all of the estrogen out, or at least most of it. And it would be a lot more than just drinking the tap water outright. It also can remove chlorine and fluoride and that's for another video and for me personally i don't like fluoride in my water so i try to filter it out so that's also a good product i have a similar filter i have a zero water filter this isn't sponsored but me personally i think we got this one for 50 and it works it gets rid of fluoride and estrogen so you may want to consider that yourself and lastly, another filter is a biofilter. You may want to do your research on that one too. Um, it's good for removing estrogen. I think it's higher than the activated carbon filters, but I believe activated carbon filters are cheaper um, from the ones I've seen online. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and thank you.